Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another glorious Soviet Sunday with workers and resources, Soviet Republic. Our city continues to grow, and as we gaze upon it in the, uh, in the night, uh, we can see how our power is actually quite consistent, and that is nice to see, actually. I'm quite, quite proud of that. Uh, we, we've made a great deal of progress over the last handful of episodes, and I'm feeling pretty good about our financial situation as well. As you can see, even right now, as we speak, it is slowly ticking upwards. We are making money, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to continue that trend of making money, hopefully, as the sun rises on another day. Uh, it's time to steal ourselves for a new industry. I did the math, and uh, we are, in fact, going to go ahead and get ourselves some more uh, exports ready, and that's going to be in the form of steel. The ratios, if I've got them right, if I did the math right, are in favor of importing iron and uh, and producing steel and then making the effort to export that. So rather than look for uh, iron ore veins, which I have found, I spent some time looking for uh, potential uh, places to pick them up from. So let's go ahead and get... Where are we? Where are we? There we go. Iron, iron mine. Yep. So there are there are a couple of them. There's uh, there's one all the way down over here. Sun's up. So let's go ahead and pause. There's one. Wow. Party. Come on. You know how this game works. And sometimes doesn't. Where's my iron mine? There. So there's there's some veins over here, which is you know great. Good good for these guys. Good for these guys. <laughs> I, I guess. Can't really use that though. Uh, we also have uh, some veins. Where are they? Oh, there we go. Down over here. Some really good pockets, actually. I wouldn't even call them veins. These are pockets. Lots of iron to be had over here, but, uh, you know, it's also pretty far away. Probably pretty far away. We can look into developing that maybe later, and I believe there's some more uh, up over here as well, perhaps. Uh, but not my, my point being, I don't know why I'm <laughs> trying to make a point over here, but uh, the iron ore itself is way too far away for me to invest in. So we're going to stick with imports for now, and then when the opportunity presents itself, we're going to invest in uh, obtaining our own ore down over here perhaps, or maybe for an easier connection uh, all the way over here, where it's a straight north-south connection. Not too far away, not too far away. We already have a train that would uh, you know, bring people down to work over here, a train station from where people can get down to work over here. So it's not too bad. However, I think for the immediate slash near future, we should definitely stick to import. Because again, we'll need the iron ore processing plant to make that iron ore into uh, into iron. So rather than do all that, we're going to skip it. We're going to import the iron itself directly for our steel mills. And again, 150 tons of iron, 150 tons of coal, together make 150 tons of steel. And we're going to export as much of that as we can. We're also going to... Um... Oh, would you look at that? This has a train yard all of, of its own. Okay. Okay. Way to change things on me, game. Not exactly what I was hoping for, if I'm completely honest. I was hoping to just use a warehouse. But I, again, I think I was checking, and there's no warehouse that can actually carry uh, steel. I could put them on trucks, I guess. Use this, uh, use this storage facility to carry uh, bricks and boards and steel, or to, to hold, and then export that stuff out with a truck. Might not be a terrible idea. Might not be a terrible idea. But you, you, the cargo station can pull steel as well. So yeah, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna... It feels inefficient. If I can get a train to directly move steel from the steel plant to export, then I should probably hook that up, right? But it needs coal access as well. And coal comes out of here. Sorry, out of here. We could get a split going on somewhere over here and maybe connect. You know what? There's there's options. There's options. There's options. Okay. Interesting. And then the, the train station and the bus stop over here will be able to service it. Okay, 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 okay. I guess that's what we'll do. So a steel mill, which is huge. So big, in fact, that it starts lagging the, the, the computer a little bit. If we can put you down... over here ish right then we can pull the tracks out and uh, join up over there have a train dedicated to uh, to steel export and then we can also get uh, a road connection 
to actually hold some steel up there, uh, which we'll use for our own construction. Seems reasonable. It's gonna be messy though. We're gonna have to destroy all of that. Uh, we could. The other option is, of course, that I continue this by one more step. We put the steel mill somewhere over here. That's quite far away from the bus stop, which is my other concern. And we actually need a high voltage power connection over here. Crazy. All right. Gonna have to draw that right out of the plant, I think. Maybe get a switch from. Okay. All right. We'll get a switch out of this thing. Pull it down. Maybe we pop you down like somewhere like uh, over here ish. Thought I saw you turn yellow. There we go. Put this down somewhere like here. Wonder if we destroy these power lines. I need to remember to pull them back. Can I? Yes, I can. Uh, not that, not by that much, but there's a spot over here. Could get a factory connection from the steel mill up to that uh, cargo station as well. Have multiple trains exporting steel. Doesn't sound like a terrible idea, because it's a very lucrative business to be in. Other option, we can rotate ever so slightly. Like, say, so. Road connection is unfortunately on that side, but there is a sidewalk connection over here. On the right side. This angle would also make it nicer for... Uh, for the uh, for the train connection, I think. I feel like this might be worth it, or rather, I should say, I feel like this might be the right spot for it. Sidewalk connections, um, so easy access for workers to get here. Excellent. We got a rail network connection to our main export line, which would be nice and helpful. And then we're gonna fuss about with that a little bit. And we also have a road connection so that we can deliver goods to our cargo depot from where construction material is taken. All right, you know what? Yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm going to put you down. Turn off the auto build just in case. And also save money on leveling the land. And so we'll put you down over here, I think. This should be good. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's always exciting to start a new industry off. All right. So we'll put you down over here. Yeah, we've almost got everything we need. Almost got everything we need. We're going to need oil as well. And uh, some of you point out in the comments uh, that oil is lucrative. And it is. I, I will be getting oil going as well. Let me just quickly mention um, oil, oil, oil. Where are you? Because we especially want oil for our uh, chemicals and whatnot. Uh, energy related? No. There we go. It's literally its own category. Yeah, we, we want a chemical plant eventually. We're just waiting for chemistry to get researched. And I think once chemistry is researched is when I'm going to... Uh... Sorry. I need to get rid of the construction. Once chemistry is researched, which is very soon, I'm going to focus on oil. Um, maybe as early as next episode. Because there is an oil deposit over here. Quite a bit of oil over here that we can take advantage of. So we'll have to build a train connection back to home. I don't know. Maybe we'll actually have like oil rig workers have their own housing over here because that's a long distance to travel. Maybe we actually start a second town uh, centered around oil instead because uh, this 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 town is starting to reach I think it's maximum potential uh, in, in terms of traveling distance. So anyway that's uh, that's maybe the next episode. This episode though let's stick with the uh, with steel. Go ahead and get the conveyor system. Yes excellent easy connection. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Go ahead and put you like so. All right. Love it. Get our footpath set up as well. Uh, you. I'd like it to be pretty. I can do something like that. And why are you so messy? Ah, that's ugly. Do something like that, basically. Auto build all that. No need to not auto build that. I'm feeling pretty comfy actually. I'm pretty comfy about this. Because the road will do what? The road the road's a little annoying. The road will have to like come up and 
I'm sorry, why can't you cross? Some other infrastructure's in the way? Like, the railway crossing? Okay, that's not ideal. Uh, I can obviously loop the road around, come back, and rejoin over here. Or I can loop it down from over here. I think there's room. Yeah, there is room, I think. Yeah. So we can do that and, and bring the road connection. It's a little dumb, but whatever. It's fine. Not the end of the world. Really annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, and we can also do a factory connection. Can we actually connect this distance? Some other infrastructure's in the way. It's gonna be the... Uh, this stuff. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get the trains set up as well. Hope we've got the angles right over here. Feeling like it. Too big a descent. Alright. Have to fix that. Go ahead and average you out a little bit. Uh, don't don't be a pain. Don't be a pain game. Dip and it comes back up though. Okay. I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. Feels good. Feels about right. So, right side is heading out to the right side. Can I do something like that? I can. Trying to figure out the smoothest connection. I think is that. Not a perfect angle. It's not a perfect angle. Because then I could do... Like this. That. So you move straight. You rotate in. Yep. Yeah. And then... Right side goes to right side. Hey, I mean, these can be two ways as far as I'm concerned. Like, I wouldn't mind having a crossing... Right out the gate, in fact. Trying to apply all my previous train theory. Alright, so crossing right out, so it doesn't matter if which way you're coming in from. You can go in either direction. These need to be chains, so a chain, two-way chain, and a two-way chain over there. Alright, this needs to be two-way chains as well, right? So you'll pick which side you need to be on. And, uh, well, you know what? I can probably put these over here. So they'll control both of these uh, junctions. That way, as long as there's a slot free over here, you'll come through. But on the way out, you'll always try to make it to the right slot so you can go out. On the way in, it doesn't matter. Okay. Feel like that makes sense. Right? That sounds like it makes sense. We've got a good train connection over there. Feeling pretty good about that. Go ahead and work on our road connection as well. Make sure that it's not going to be a problem for us. Looking good. Or maybe not. about over here. There we go. Okay. Connect you like so. Alright, good enough. Go ahead and get a straight connection up like so. There we go. Beautiful. I have to unfortunately do this the other way around. I think it's dumb, but is what it is. Pull you up. And... Over. Yeah, that feels good. That looks good. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Alright, great. Awesome. Let's cut off some of these ends. Nice little curve here. Allows you to go up here and store up there. Okay, so steel will be placed here as well. But exports itself will happen from here. Uh... I'm almost wondering, do I want to get one of these trains to pick goods up from, from here? All I'd have to do is set up a loop. I don't know if I want to overcomplicate this. So just set a separate train up so that it's moving faster. I don't know what rate this will work at, but that way it'll at least move faster. Yeah, I'll stick with that for now. Okay, auto build these. And, uh, hold on a second. Trains or railway tracks. What do you need? Steel, gravel, prefab panels, and electronic components. Okay, so that, that's kind of expensive. Nice. I didn't realize that button. Maybe it's new. I don't, I don't remember it from before. All right. Feeling good. Very expensive. Going to lose a lot of money. Going to be 1.7-ish or something, I think, after all this construction is done. 
but but I think we'll be fine. Alright, let's go ahead and resume time. Let this construction finish. We need to make sure that more people are arriving at this train station as well, because otherwise uh, nothing's going to get done. That's not good. Alright, roads getting built. Good stuff. Very happy with this. I wonder if I need more residential uh, centers done. Oh, this is not connected for some reason. Oh no, I was just finishing off. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Good stuff. Good stuff. This train's coming through on which side? I'm guessing, yeah, it's obviously trying to cross over. 75 workers coming through. Okay, in you go. Go ahead and send, set you for construction. It's actually very accurate with my uh, guess there. <laughs> 75 workers are going to pop out. Perfect timing here. Perfect timing. Bus arrives. It's going to stay put. It's going to load up on 55 of the 75 workers. Off goes the bus. Great. And the remainder should probably head in there. Okay, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about that. How are you guys feeling down here? Currently without power. Right. I knew I'd forget. Okay, glad I noticed that. Glad I checked. Go ahead and sort that out. And I need to sort a couple things out. I need to get the high voltage uh, line in here as well. So medium voltage. Go ahead and sort this out. And you, yep, you can. Uh, so let's pull you down to here first. Hmm. I'd like it to be neat. It's like one of my few concerns is this stuff looking neat. Move over to here and then down to here. Work with me, game. There we go. So that'll bring power to these people. Good stuff. And then I also need the high voltage wire for this. I need to get a splitter. Or a switch, sorry. Easy enough. Reach down, like, over here, I suppose. Or over here would be better. Like this kind of a thing. Alright. Go ahead and get rid of you. Get this down, like, so... Like, so. Our high voltage wires will go from there to there, there to there, and from there to there. Alright. Go ahead and hit play. Excellent. This thing's gonna take forever to build. While it's building, though, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and make things a little bit prettier. I've been complaining for a while about uh, our. What is this? Oh, they've changed how you plant trees. That's excellent. I love that this developer is working on this game so consistently. That's great, dude. Alright, cool. Just been a little tired of seeing the nastiness. We're gonna get rid of it. The safest place to put trees is, of course, next to, um, next to live wires. In case you didn't know. Alright, gotta mix the, uh, the breeds a little bit, right? Keep it interesting. This is great. Oh, this is great. One of the reasons I've been dreading planting trees is because it's so uh, painful. Like when it was piece by piece. But now, now this feels great. There we go. Help these conveyor belts look a little bit nicer. Doll them up a little bit. Obviously take time for these trees to grow, but at least they'll grow. <laughs> Hide the blemish of, uh, of the steel industry. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. I hope. They'll grow quickly enough. Alright, feels good. How much are you carrying? 2.4. Next train coming in to load up. Already carrying four. Those clothes, I'm telling you. We gotta make more clothes. And up over here, how's the work going? Going well. 
This is the weird thing. Concrete. And I still don't know. Oh, this is a new building. They've changed some things up. There's been a recent update and I haven't, uh, haven't noticed. Well, I mean, I have noticed, but I've noticed now. Uh, okay. Concrete. Construction-related offices. Surely... There's a place to store concrete. Because otherwise we're just not... Um, doing anything with it. It's just sitting there and it's not able to... Not able to store anything. I mean, like, what if... Uh, does the construction office have storage capabilities? Unfinished footpath where... Didn't know that existed. Well, this is quite helpful. There's a lot of unfinished footpaths over here. They don't really make themselves obvious, do they? I can build you. Oh, right. This is the building that I don't want to build just yet that one. So maybe it's time now with the steel mill as well. Go ahead and fund you. Get that done, just so we have, uh... Are you still without power? We're connected over here. Are we just not outputting enough? Maybe I should reduce how much I'm exporting. Just by a little bit. Where is the, uh... Where are you getting your power from? No, I've got a substation somewhere here. There we go. This is also without power supply. Go ahead and check what's going on over here. Got no power. There's the line going straight up. There's the connection that we just made. Going straight up, going across, going up, going up, going across. Oh, hello. This is from a while ago. This is from a long time ago. There we go. That should solve that problem. Yep. Whoops. Alright, hopefully that's a lot, a lot of happier citizens now. <laughs> um, oops. I do need to do something about their, uh... Like, they've got a... Pub? Yeah, they've got a pub, they've got a cinema hall, they've got everything, but I guess without power, none of this was really working. Alright, that's good. That's much better. Much better. Maybe that's why the school was so messed up uh, last time around. Because that school wasn't getting a lot of students and stuff either. Alright. Alright, that feels a lot better. Losing a lot of money. Ooh, there's a steel mill. Is it done already? It is. Okay. Why are you missing coal? You should be getting coal. Oh, because I've hooked up the wrong goddamn thing. Artie, come on, man. These kinds of issues are what bring down entire regimes. Fine. Not the end of the world. Because I can do something very simple here. Drop you down, like... Oh. Connect you... That was a dumb mistake. That was a dumb mistake. In my eagerness to complete uh, the work, put it down the wrong direction. But hey, at least the mill's done. At least the mill's done. All right, let's go ahead and put you down like so. And then you would be down like so. Oh, I saw a spot. There it is. Okay, infrastructure below is getting in our way. The road. Let's go ahead and pause for a second. How are we feeling over here? Infrastructure below getting in the way. Okay. Go ahead and destroy this for now. 
not auto build. All right, there and then there. Yeah, didn't think so. Didn't think so. Okay, easy enough. Now the power lines will be easy. Power lines kind of just cooperate. Right, easy. Auto build that. The road is different. Now it's gonna look less pretty, isn't it? I gotta get the sidewalk fixed as well. I can do that. And then from here we could not. Okay. Instead we could do something like this, I suppose. Not the same. Doesn't have a beautiful little curve to it, but oh, I can work with it. I can work with it. As long as I can actually level the train over here. It looks like I can't. Alright, do that. And let's go ahead and get the sidewalk done as well. There we go. So, fund your construction. And fund... Oh, yes. So good. Yep. Done, done, done. All good. And fund. Cool. Oh, right. We got one crucial step. Actually getting this into here. All right, well, maybe we need to put down another one. And hopefully put it down over there. Don't know if that's too close. Nope. Good stuff, good stuff, and good stuff. Excellent. Auto build you, and let's get you done as well. Okay. All right, move time forward. Make sure you're being built as well. Yeah, all right, good enough. That works for me. Because now we're getting coal, right? Yeah, just missing iron. So iron, I'm willing to import, but first let's make sure workers are able to get here as well. Where is our train? Twenty-one workers. We need more workers. Oh, these guys can't get to the train station. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get rid of. Those, and I'm going to add that. All right. And then over here, you guys will work. There. Ooh, new vehicle. This is your comrades from the nearby Very Free People's Republic introduce a new type of vehicle to the market, available now for purchase with rubles. Interesting. Is that a locomotive or? Let me. It's definitely something to do with trains. If I can find my train depot, which I've somehow... There it is. I don't know why we zoomed out to the side there, but... Go ahead and see... The Very Free Republic. What was it called? 2TE2116. Electric locomotive? 2TE... Okay, so it's a diesel locomotive. Max speed is pretty low. Alright, you know what? Not worth it. Not something I'm looking at even. Why are we losing so much money now? Fabric. We're spending on fabric right now. That's the thing. If I can get fabric going uh, in-house, so to speak, that would make a huge difference. 500 workers. We need a lot more people living over here. Over here, can we reach the train station? We cannot. Over here, we can. I'm wondering if rather than building this section first, I build this section first. Because it's certainly feeling like we need it. Certainly feeling like we need it. These trees need to grow faster as well. Oh, what's happening over here? Oh, you're loading up. Okay. Let's start figuring out uh, 
our export from, from this mill. No, let's start making sure people can get there. All right. Time to build. Not that many unemployed workers, which is good. Go ahead and get... Uh, where are we? Where are we? Residential buildings. Anything new in here? Always curious about new additions. Like these flats when they got added in. 189 workers apiece. Go ahead and get... I would say at least two in. Can we even connect to the road? We can. Alright, let's let... Uh, the sun come back up. Sorry about that cut there. That a bit of a sneezing fit. Had to cut that out, obviously. Um... But yeah, we're gonna get the residential sector down over here, or expand it over here when, uh... I'm wondering if I should destroy this. A waste of money, but they don't have power or anything. I was just saying, like, uh... I'm, I'm just saying that because I'm gonna get more work over here, and these guys are just gonna be unhappy. Or I can work towards expanding my power, which is what I should do. See, what I'm wondering is, are we able to nudge this over? You're powering some stuff over here, but do you need to? I've got another one down over here, if I'm not mistaken. That's able to power this stuff as well. So I should probably send this over a little bit. Because all I need is a little bit over. So let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, substation. We can put it down... Like somewhere over here, even. Right. Really power everything in this area. Yeah. I say we do... I say we do something like that. Let's put it over here. Power to a lot of stuff. Power further north, further south as well. Like, that. the reach is quite great on these things. Thankfully. For sure, let's go ahead and put you down, like, say, over here. And a medium... Well, hold on. first of all, I gotta destroy this one. There we go. Yep. Now let's get the medium voltage wire to come down over here. And there. Awesome. Now, hold on. I wouldn't mind doing something like that and that so that I can get in the middle over here something far more important than electricity for the people. There we go. Yeah, that's a good size. A good size. Alright, excellent. Make sure this is lined up properly. Come on. There we go. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Watch is over. Our pub our kindergarten, and our school, and of course our uh, shopping center as well. Yeah, this will be good. Go ahead and let time pass through. There we go. Hours back. Just temporary outage, folks. Nothing to worry about. Now these guys will be happier as well. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm pretty good. Going pretty good. <laughs> Over here, we've got our steel mill, which is not getting any people. But hopefully, again, as the sun rises, we'll we'll get some new hires. We'll get some new workers in, and they'll be able to work on the steel mill. But, pretty happy to see it, though. All of its glory. Pretty neat, actually. Like the, I'm pretty satisfied with the visual style of this game. It's not where its priorities lie. Oh, look at all those workers filing out. Will any come here? No, they all go to the bus station. How many of them are there? 75. It's a full train load. Full train load. And I believe I need them all up there. Like, I could do some quick math to figure out where exactly I should be sending people. What I think I need to do is get another passenger train. Like, my big issue with... Well, actually, I'm, okay, so what I could do... Is... You're gonna drop off 37 more? 
Hold on, who the hell just dropped off 75 then? You must have. Okay. In that case... Hundred and twelve people. Where are you going? Oh, okay, good, good, good. Excellent. That original seventy-five are coming in over here now. Let's go ahead and import. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead and purchase resources for rubles. Set it to auto purchase. Start with 42. Coal is coming and being used right away. That's how we're getting the steel. Alright, okay, 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 okay. Feeling pretty good about this production rate, but I need to make sure that I'm exporting this right away. Right away, because we're... Look at, look at that money go. Alright, let's go ahead and get some trains figured out for this. Um, I could get a truck dropping stuff off up over here as well. Uh, we could load it up on some of these trains too, so we're, we've got constant motion. Which I don't think is a bad idea, because, you know, it's producing... Nah, it's not producing that quickly. It's not producing that quickly, okay. So, back all the way over here, we're going to get ourselves a new... Let's pause it for a second there. Well, it's going to be cargo wagons, right? And we want... Uh, this one will just carry steel, I think. Open cars carry steel, okay. Or flat cars. Alright, so the flat car is cheaper. And it can carry 75 tons of steel. And it's also lighter. So why would I... Why would I opt for the other one? That's yeah, weird. Uh, flat car, for sure. Also from the glorious Soviet Union. Oh, I guess it's a time thing. But no, why would you want to get the more expensive thing that carries less? Maximum speed is the same and everything. Alright, well, flat car it is. Maximum speed is 30 kilometers per hour, damn. Not a lot. Alright, well, go with that. And maybe let's get two. So we're making less trips. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Uh, and let's get our electric locomotive. 30 is the fastest this thing can go, I take it. So we can save some money then. By going a little bit cheaper. Alright. Go ahead and do that. Okay, I was really worried that wasn't going to work. Okay. Sure. So, keep it small for now. We're going to move you... You're going to start over here. You're going to end over there. You're going to unload everything. All right? 100% of anything? Yes, that sounds good. First stop is unreachable from current position. Okay. It's a little annoying. Because you should be able to go up and loop around. I mean, what I could do is... Add a little bit of track over here for starters. All right, so on the right side... Right side, you're going down. Do something like, uh... That's ugly. There's room here for something pretty. Game is just not letting me do it. Literally put it on any side. It's the other beauty of this two-way... Alright, you know what? Where are we? Nope, don't want to do anything like that. Don't want to do anything too ugly. I have my limits of how much ugliness I'm willing to accept. Do... Just to help trains get on here. This is a two-way. That's a two-way. gonna have to be a little hideous unless I all right let's try this out don't auto build ah, come on work with me game 
You know you want this to be pretty too, game. You know it. Crossing not allowed, alright. These turns are going to be too sharp. See, what I could do is I could probably cancel these crossings. We'll do them again later. I could probably do something like... Hmm. Still not pretty. Okay, let's see. Pull you up like that. There we go. See, I can do that, and then the crossing can come afterwards. Don't give me that too sharp a turn nonsense. Exactly what I want to do, game. Wow, that was not the click I wanted. There we go. Alright. There we go. Got my doubles. Got this. Got Okay, that should be fine. Auto build all of that. Let the construction finish first. And now you should be able to reach. Yes. Would have preferred, actually, this coming up to there, but... I can do that. Kind of. Nah, it's not flat enough is the problem. You can also pull like this. A really funky kind of a setup. There. Don't know how official this looks. <laughs> Glorious train tracks. Alright, steel is being made a little slowly. We don't have all the workers we need. But, like I said, I'm going to expand this situation a little bit. Right, get some more workers working over here. Uh, maybe wait a little bit. Where's our train from here? You're not it. There it goes. Oof. So slow. So slow. Wow, it's actually crazy how slow that is. Are other flatbeds really moving that slowly? No, they're able to pick up more speed. Let's see how fast this goes, because maybe I'm going to change that train. Yeah, you know what? That's a load of crap. Where's that train? How did you get far now? <laughs> did you get far? There you are. Back to the depot. A little bit of money wasted there. I mean, the other options, I could just delete it. Yep. Alright. Flatbed, where are you? Cargo wagon. Or flat car, I should say. And then electrical locomotive. Let's go ahead with the one that gives us the fastest speed. 160. Which one's cheaper? This one's cheaper. Cool. Now, you are going to start, oops, going to start over here, and you're going to end over here. You're going to make us the big bucks, okay? You're going to make us the big bucks, all right? I want this train going a little bit faster, please. Oh, it helps when you unpause the game to make trains go faster. Let's keep an eye on that. Okay, this should all work pretty smoothly. Trains carrying 75 people, excellent. We're not all gonna get off over here, right? Or they are. Oh, that confuses the crap out of me. These guys aren't getting workers now. At least these guys are. No crops, crops being wasted down over here, I think. Well, just not being used perfectly, I guess, is what I should say. Now, this train is moving pretty fast. 150, 140, while well, it's taking a turn. But that's good. All right, that's good. Um, I need to figure out why this train is... dropping everybody off. Do that. Maybe that's part of the reason. 
This bus is carrying 55 people, and from here, 20 people are waiting to go here. And we'll put the pace back up on uh, on the steel production. Okay. Okay. Now, back over here. There's some terraforming to do, I think, or maybe this is flat enough already to build the uh, the residential units. No, it is not. It is not. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just uh, raise the grounds as we can. And stopping us from doing this. Uh, you know what does suck, though? I would have liked that train station to have a straight connection down this way towards where I wanted to eventually put steel, uh, like iron iron mines and stuff. I mean, I could put the housing over here, but I don't think it'll have reach to, to all this stuff then. I can try it out. 89 workers over here. I could, uh, as a test run. And I wish I hadn't done this. I wish I hadn't done this. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. So as a test run, let's go ahead and put one of you down. Say over here. Uh, we want the two connected. Our wire frame up just so I can try and line this up a little bit. You go all the way back to here. Roughly. Okay. Back to say there. Flatten this out a little bit. What we do is we put you down over there. And then the roads... Could we... This is not flat enough, but that's something we can fix later. Do that, and that's not good enough. Okay, so we will need some averaging over there, but will the train tracks... ...be able to come through? Yes. Some trouble with height, but but oh, we should be able to sort sort that out. Okay. Go ahead and cancel road construction order over here. That way. There we go. And then the trains. Let's see. Push you straight through. Where are we seeing trouble? All right. Flatten. Like so. Get rid of you. We didn't really spend any money on you, so that's good. There we go. More flattening, please. Gotta love, uh, <laughs> gotta love terraforming. Okay, there we go. There we go. So at least we know that the, the road connections and stuff will work. Right, the train will, yep, be able to pass through. A little bit of trouble over there, it seems, but that's easily fixed, I think. I think. Yes. Easily enough. There we go. It's actually really messy. How, how does it... Oof. The height difference. Okay. I see. I see. I'm guessing the train tracks don't like uh, that kind of a slope upwards. That's going to be a problem. Go ahead and keep this going like so. Alright. Okay. Now let's see. Huh. Fall off a cliff over here. Uh, this is good though. This is straight across. That's good. Uh, and then we can slope it out. You know on this far end over here. Good. Okay, okay, okay. I'm fine with that. Go ahead and get uh, residential. You, and what we're going to do is eventually we're going to flip it and build all their, like, schools and stuff on the other side. But for now... But for now... If I hold the left mouse button here, you pull that up. Excellent. 
Okay, and if I put you down over here, and then I go for this, can I put the... Ro yes, I can, it looks like. I have to do something like that. All right, fair enough. A little close for comfort, isn't it? I don't think it'll actually connect. Okay, it's fine. Where are you again? And build instead a little bit further back. Something like that, perhaps. Again, I want to make sure it has access to the uh, amenities as well. That, to me, I think is more important than the train station access, believe it or not. You always have to reinvest in all of that. Now, this... Isn't perfect. By any means. So we're gonna do that again. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to be as nice as possible. Okay. It's so like there. Right? That should do the trick. And if it doesn't, we'll stick with it. Sure. Good enough. Good enough. And from here, we're able to... Kind of pull through. There we go. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That works, that works. And then foot paths would go... From there to there, sure. Now, this is the hard foot path. Is like... I have to shift the buildings a little bit. But, you know, they'll walk down this way anyway. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Fund you, fund you and go ahead and fund you right so i'll get built hopefully this will have access to all this stuff that's that's a very big deal right now and it might it might 180 meter rate reach that is less than double this right so it should be good Literally, it's a matter of inches. If these buildings were a little bit higher up, then we would be fine. Hmm, okay. Okay. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. It's not perfect. At least we're getting power, and these guys are able to go over here. Lots of workers waiting. I feel like we need another train. Another passenger train. And where is our steel exporting train. Need to keep my eye out for roadblocks. Where are you? You're stuck here. Waiting for this train to move. Which is fine. Which is fine. <sighs> it's fine, because we're going to get more steel... For our first export push, that'll be worth a lot more money, right? That'll be worth a lot more money. We'll give it a little bit more time. Uh, what I could do is get uh, get a truck. On a Luhajik. Why would you stop there? Luhajik's this one. Okay. Uh, what I could do, what I could do, what I could do is get some trucks set up to pick steel up very slowly from here to there. You know what? I think I'm going to hold off on that until I have uh, I've made some money back on the steel plant. Because we still, to do construction by ourselves, we still have to invest in asphalt, for which we need the oil industry. So there's still a ways to go before we can build things entirely on our own. Um, I think uh, for now we're going export only. All right, good stuff. So you're moving through, right, with 2,000-ish of rubles. You're coming through right now. I want to I make sure I see this right. What are you waiting for? That training to get out of its current section? Okay. Oh, you know what? I see what you're waiting for. You should be able to move. There we go. Why is it red up there? 
I guess because we don't have another section. Okay, so in that case, let's go ahead and get... Yeah, this was an underdeveloped section of my... Uh... Okay, good stuff. That train's right. Hold on, wait one sec. I just want to get this done. So this should not be a two-way. This should be a one-way because we're going that way over there. This is fine being a two-way up to here. This should probably be a chain. Because right, this is a junction. And over here, we need a chain going this way. Yeah, that feels right. Got a train coming through, arriving, and you can barely see it because all the trees are in now. In comes the train. Hides behind the building, eh? Okay. Train goes all the way in there. Loads up on steel. Pretty cool that you can actually see it in here, loading up on the steel. Oh my god, and it's worth so much money. It's worth so much money. Beautiful. I'm trying to get up. No, that that, that uh, smokestack is so tall. Barely capture it all. There we go. Something like that. Something like that. And I'm feeling pretty good about uh, this whole setup as well in terms of how our trains should be working and whatnot. Keep an eye on this real quick. Literally, I want to follow it. I want to make sure it's uh, moving properly. Like, the last thing I need is all this money just sitting still. Let's keep our eyes on you. Our eyes on the speed as well. So again, it's not at maximum capacity just yet. But, it's a good chunk of money being made. Alright, you're sitting still right now. Why are you sitting still? What are you waiting for? That train's not coming through. We got a red light over here, but a green light over there. See, this was my fear. This was my fear. Exactly why I'm glad I checked, though. Now, this is a chain, right? So it should be checking either side of the tracks over here. Obviously, it wants to stick to the right side. The right side has a red light over there. Now, why would that be? Because all the way over here, there is no train. There is no train. There's nothing blocking your path. Hmm. Is it because of that train? Let's try this out. Let's go ahead and force you through. Already carrying so much money. Let's go ahead and push you through. Want to see what makes this light... Uh, Turn green. Right now it's red. It means no no access. Okay. You're gonna pass through there. And turn that red. There we go. Now we're able to push through here, but further down, we need another light. The other thing we wait, why are you going up that way? Oh, because that's the only path you have available. All right, all right, all right, all right, hold on. Go back here. Okay, we're going to add more... Hold on, we don't actually have power over here. We're going to add more... Um, semaphores. That's what's going on right now. So, right side, you move. What's happening is... The game doesn't realize that the tracks are freeing up. This one's already here. Move you up like that. Okay, move you like that. Alright. That should free the lights up back over here. So let's go ahead and see. This train will stop and turn around. Stop and turn around, I said. Okay. Go. Go. God damn it, turn around. Here we go. Yeah, this will be fine. Speed it up a little bit. 
losing so much money. Alright, you're coming through this way. Alright, do we have any steel? We do. We have a lot of steel. Steel's gonna get offloaded. Alright, you know what? It'll be a better first trade. It'll be a better first trade. Alright, you're loading up, you're loading up, you're loading up. Sun's back up. Are we... Are we moving? I guess they're producing steel, so it's continuing to load up. Well, I really want to see if this works, so let's go ahead and force you through. There we go. Alright. To go up to here, the light's blue. Light in front of you is red. Why is light in front of you red? We have a train up here. This train is stopping this train. I need to figure out why that's happening. Okay, if I push you through, right, keep our eyes on you. Well, I want to see the speed as well. Train is going, it's going. We're all red now because nowhere to go. Train passes through. Right. Gives us the blue light here, but we don't have the green there yet, so we're probably going to turn, aren't we? Yep. Okay. Bring it around. It gets the green eventually, but that's this semaphore is too far away. We just need to put it, like, over here. Or I could have... Chain over here. That checks this section of track, which will always be free. I still feel like I need one... Over here. There, that should be smooth. That should be smooth. Now let this train pick up all of its goods. There we go. Gonna turn around. Got a red light again. Oh, it's got a blue light. Gonna pass through. Gets a red light there. Why? The red light there because this train is here. Right? So let's go ahead and force you through. Losing a lot of money on this experiment here. Losing a lot of money on this experiment. But, but, it's necessary. Right, so this will make sure that we get past this junction unless there's two trains over here or something. That is not the smoothest solution. But it is a solution. Or is it? Now this train is stuck here. Is it because that train's coming through? Let's find out. Making sure this works is very important because if this doesn't work, then hell's the point. No, that train's gonna get stuck there. Now nobody's moving. And now nobody's moving. Even though this path is 100% free. I could do something like that. Which will release this train. Okay, good stuff. You're going to stop there. Now you're going to come through and you're going to come through. Okay, fair enough. You know what, folks? I think this is working. No, no, it's not. Because this is too close. Okay, 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 that's not, 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 not a problem, not a problem. There we go. Now this train... Still thinks it's blocked, alright. Okay, 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 we got this. We got this, folks. Why aren't you going through? <laughs> These track sections are clear. You're headed into a junction. You're headed into a junction. This is clear for both of you. This is definitely clear. Like, this guy should not be stuck here. Blowing my mind that that was a thing at all. And if you pass through... And go through there. Both these trains start to move ever so slightly. Okay. And now once you go past there, will this train be freed behind you? No. Once you go past there, will this train be freed behind you? Yes. There we go. Alright. 
All right, there we go. Might need to reduce the spacing between these a little bit. But looking like pretty good. Looking like it's pretty good. Excellent. 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 Not slowing this train down one bit. We're about to make our first steel shipment, ladies and gentlemen. Our first steel shipment. And there it goes. Some positive absolutely worth the time and effort uh, the unfortunate thing is that our previous train is going to be stuck back here but that's okay enough room for this one to be relieved so to speak but yeah look at that all that money all of that money 34 tons has given us 12,000 rubles now this train's going to pull back going to go through here and as soon as it does this train's going to be released gonna make us another 6k approximately ladies and gentlemen we're exporting steel i hope you guys enjoyed this episode it's gone slightly over our one hour mark but i just wanted to make sure this was working i did not want to leave things in that way uh so i do hope you enjoyed it and i hope you didn't mind the slight increased time factor there if you did have a good time you know what to do drop a like drop a comment let me know you would like to see more workers and resources soviet republic on this channel those likes and comments make a very big difference to how i approach things on the channel so do not forget to do that as always a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis you keep us alive and running smoothly and a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching until next time das vidanya